Hey folks, how are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. We're gonna get some to eat. I am not paying the prices. <laughs> it's 24 degrees Celsius. Feels hotter than that. San Jose. Eh? We've not ridden together for five weeks. Said he went oldie. We're oldie. I think he said oldie. I'm gonna presume it was oldie. You've got this, I think, car plan, like, bike, what, two bottles of stuff for cleaning your bike. Like, brand new. Well, I, I know it is technically brand new. Really good stuff, nice and shiny. I did mine last week before we went out, and not touched it since. Went to see my friends last night, me and my missus. I've not been up in about a year and a half. Had a good laugh nice to get out the house get away from the kids <laughs> uh, that was a good laugh you want to make stay till like two o'clock this morning i said no chance that i'm going out with sanjay it's not and i'm not so i'm usually in bed at 10 o'clock me watch a bit of youtube on my tablet and then go to sleep so the them days are over we stay it's like god sometimes it's daytime on would leave in the summer months nice having a catch up but we're away in two weeks for two weeks it's like when you when you <laughs> it's like when you invite me around your house well, I'm not I had a knock on the door last night uh, before I went out one of my neighbours uh, granddaughters come down from Castlefield did about 65 miles Come and see a grandma, she on a Lex Mortal. I think it was a ZSB or something like that. It brought down basically. Um, and as soon as I switched the ignition on, I said, no power going to your fuel pump. Can't hear it priming. And it weren't cranking over, so I put a jump start starter on it to try and crank it over. Popped the seat off and there's a relay. And I said, right. So they're all talking, I said, can you just be quiet a minute, I want to see if I can hear this relay. And the relay weren't firing up. So I think the relay's gone, but she said, it's a second hand bike, she bought it, like a private sale. And she said on her way down yesterday, um, she'd gone through some rain. But I didn't want to tell her she was a young girl. Um, under the fuel tank, somebody's been messing with the wiring. They've cut some wires out don't know why obviously um, and then put bullet connectors in and not even sort of like wrapped them with tape or anything they've just left them so it looks like that bike's had a fault in the past and they've bodged it but I didn't have the heart to tell her because she was like really really upset don't get me wrong her mum was there she was quite happy to take her back home and stuff um, in a car so she's ended up having to leave it in her grandma's and I said oh let me know how you get on and literally, while we're doing that, my son-in-law turned up to pick his son up from ours, our grandson. And I said, what the hell is that noise? He's got a SQ5. So I said, pop your bonnet. And I looked where the air fills were. And you can hear this noise. It's like it's sucking in really hard. Then it stops and repeats. And it just kept repeating itself over and over. But it was only doing it in drive. When you put it into drive, when it were in neutral, it weren't doing it. But I had a look at it a few weeks back. Apparently they'd gone for a service and um, they've just had his money off him because the oil was like treacle. It was horrible. I said, you need to take it. I said, it's going to cost you more, obviously, if you take it to where it is. I said, but you know the main dealers, they'll go through the car. Because I said that they change it because it's got about something like 100 and, over 100,000 or just under 100. I can't remember. But I said it could do like with the oil and the death being changed. Me personally. I said it's a bit weird on gearbox sometimes because it's an auto. I said I'd just have an oil change on, on that as well. So I said you're gonna have to get it looked at. He's paid a lot of money for it. I think he's paid about 25 grand for it. And I <laughs> for him, the dealership he bought it from has gone bust. So it's not like you can take it back to them. I said, just get it into Audi. 
but he did me a fantastic neck tattoo on what day did it friday it's really really good absolutely love it took him about four hours because my missus were going mad she's like oh because i've got my missus name on one side of my neck it's like you're tattooing over my name I've got the like, rest of my body put your name on, don't worry about it. But yeah, he did a cracking job. Did it for a birthday treat for me. But he said, oh, when you come back off your holiday, I'll put you in again and get the rest of your neck done. GC3RS. There he is. Because it's like you want it weirdest people have tattoo. I went, why? It's because you just never show any pain. Okay, but it doesn't bother me. It's irritating. I find it. It's like an addictive irritation, <laughs> if that makes sense. Those of you that have had tattoos and you get more and more tattoos, you'll totally understand what I mean. Because um, after he did my last one, not the one he did on Friday, I was like, that's it. I don't think I'm having any more. But when he said, "Oh, I'll do your tattoo for your birthday if you want," we'll do an act tattoo. And I just give him free reign. I said, "You pick what it is. It's like a." Sat, do you know the face of a samurai warrior with a mask on it's really really cool it's like bloody hell you barely even uh, bled when I did that it's because I'm the ice man <laughs> but I'm so laid back I don't even be bothered to bleed <laughs> ah that's gone down to 23 degrees celsius a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Had a mint weekend, I really have. I got. <laughs> I don't know if I remember telling you. Uh, I got a parking ticket. Well, from Liverpool Airport. I tried to appeal it, and they're having none of it. So that cost me sixty quid. And then we had to take our daughter on Wednesday to Manchester Children's Hospital or whatever it's called never been before in my life anyways got a parking ticket there as well but that was only 35 quid because my missus were going mad and i said look i said we barely ever use the car because i can't stand driving i really can't i'd rather be on my bike but we need a car but i'll be honest with you that car's lucky if it sees a thousand miles a year um i just don't bother using it I think that's like I used it on Wednesday just gone and before then it had been stood for about six weeks and I said look it's not like we use the car and we're putting 30 40 pound of fuel in every week and everything I said so it doesn't matter I said at the end of the day it's parking fine pay it forget about it Whereas the old me I would have gone mad But it is what it is, like I said, it just it doesn't bother me. If I was putting like I said 30, 40 quid a week in fuel and everything and we all know how much fuel cost and insurance and all that stuff, I'd be slightly irritated, but it just doesn't bother me. And I won't mind, my missus is one of them, she's like everything happens for a reason, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind, I got one last year with one all day because we went in car and that were, I think that was 25 quid Stop, start, why are you not working? You're at six, oh, there you go Spoke too soon Yeah, there was a crunching noise on this when me and my son was out last week we were stuck behind a car on a hill and then when I went set off, there was like a grinding noise from the back. I think what it was, what you've got to do with these bikes, you've got to twist the throttle, let it start, and then throttle it. If you try and twist the throttle, the bike will just sort of like try bogging on you. And I think what it was, you don't use the starter motor on the stop start. They use some other system. Don't ask me how it works. I've not a clue. I think that system was still partly disengaging because I went on the throttle straight away because we were on a really steep hill when I wanted to set off. So just be wary of that, folks, if you buy one of these. 
you've got to stop start because watch i'll try and pin it so you don't want to know you've got to let it start the person doing it in this white car oh my dears yeah just give it a little twist let it fire up and then hit the throttle It's the same in my car as well when I use stop start. But that's what I'm presuming it was. I thought it was something in the drivetrain at the back, but it's not. It's been perfectly fine. And it's still picking up like more and more power as the engine's running in. I'm at 685 miles. And what we're at the end of July and I got it at the end of March, what's so that four months? I would have expected me to do more than that actually, I'm quite surprised. I was just telling Sandra off camera actually. I just said, like, I said, when did we take up and get services like June? I went, ah, oh, right. I said, so it's six months later. I said, which is technically, is it November? But I said, I'm going to take mine and sort of late September before it starts getting really cold. Get it done. And then I think it's 12, yeah, because I think it goes three month, six month, and then every 12 month. Something like that. My son's not coming out today. He's like, oh, I'm having a chill day. He's had his son all weekend. Oh, all right, no worries. Very nice. Big lads kitchen, not really that cool. Big lads. <laughs> well it's starting that like, ODTC there, is it a hoover sticking out? Can you see it? Yes it is. <laughs> Taking hoover for a spin. <laughs> Day. I'm sure that dealership used to open on a Sunday. Maybe not. That would be seven days a week, wouldn't it? Do you know, when I was younger, barbers were never open on a Sunday. Let's go open seven days a week, mate. Yeah, my mate, I went, no, so he's got one of them patio heaters. No, the colour gas bottles. And he had to pay, like, I think he said 30 quid deposit. I said, why are you bothering with them? He's like, because I've no choice, don't have them. I said, no. I said, you can buy your own bottle. And down the road from where he lives, about a mile down the road, it's called Bolton Bottle Gas. I said, you take it to them. I said, you can buy them, like, from Argos. I said, and you go down to him and get LPG, he'll fill it with LPG for about six or seven quid. And he's like, you're kidding me? I'm like, no. He's like, oh, I didn't know that. Because he's like, oh, is it safe on LPG? I went, yeah, LPG's better than butane. It works at lower temperatures than butane. Because he's always going on about saving money and stuff. And he's like, oh, nice one, thank you. Like, you're welcome. Here he eats. an e-bike, happy it is. Uh, gonna go McDonald's, I'm presuming we're gonna go to the barn. Oh, yeah, oh that's a barn, is it? Oh no. How many times have I passed that? What the hell, what's happened to that? Dang! Yeah, it's pulling a lot better now, this bike. It really is. I'm super impressed with it. And the... <laughs> I went on the website just having a look. And they've put the price back up. I paid originally, I think... What did I pay? What? 
basically I paid the full price for it and then literally two days after I paid for it they deducted it by about 350 quid and now I, I already told you this story um, I rang them and they gave me the money back but they've put them back up now 28 or something like that 2000 I don't know but yeah they've gone back up now in price it's a brilliant 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 bike it really is I love it bits <sighs> I don't even know what I want to eat I'm not even sick for that I'm just, you know, although it's one o'clock right folks I'm going to end here thank you all so much for watching I really appreciate it as per usual and as always take care of yourselves and each other and I'll catch you in the next one bye night